Hula, malale, telofa, and welcome to Season 5, Episode 83 of Breakfast Bites by TableForSports.com. A wrap of Pacifica People's sports news on a bright and sunny Monday morning, 26 June 2023. Coming to you with tons of anisi from the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. In rugby, the big winners from the first round of pool games at the World Rugby Under-20 Championship in South Africa had to be the three lesser-known uh, under-20 rugby nations. Georgia, who gave host South Africa a 33-23 scare. Wales, who all but upset the Junior All Blacks, 27-26. And Fiji, who ran the Junior Wallabies ragged before their 46-37 win. In other results, Argentina thrashed Italy, 43-15. Ireland and England drew, 34-all. France killed Japan, 75-12. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that's it from South Africa. In Rugby League, Broncos coach Kevin Walters blasted his side at halftime yesterday and tore strips off his players at his post-match press conference, pointing to their poor attitude following a shock 12-18 loss to the Gold Coast Titans in front of 40,000 fans at Suncorp Stadium on Sunday. While Scott Drinkwater was on fire at Accor Stadium with 197 run meters, 12 tackle busts, 4 lineouts, a line break assist and 3 try assists in a dominant display as the Cowboys continued their mid-season resurgence with a 31-6 win over the Rabbitohs. Everything around Drinkwater turned to gold, Cooper Cronk said. He was the best player on the field. In sports biz, the Chicago club Cubs, rather, and St. Louis Cardinals lit up London and shared the spoils as they bought the historic rivalry to the UK in the MLB London series. More than 110,000 fans poured into West Ham's home ground across two days as the Cubs dominated Game 1, 9-1, and the Cardinals won Day 2, 7-5 in a sensational weekend of baseball action as America's pastime staged its latest takeover of the English capital. In football, Senegal defender Khalido Koulibaly has joined uh, Saudi Arabian side Al-Hilal from EPL side Chelsea, the two clubs announced yesterday. Koulibaly's uh, contract runs until 2026 with the Saudi cl uh, club paying US $21.6 million for the centre-back. Koulibaly made 32 appearances in all competitions for Chelsea after joining them from Napoli last July. Portugal midfielder Ruben Neves also signed for Il Al Hilal from uh, Wolverhampton Wanderers on Friday. The Saudi Pro League has become attractive to Europe-based players since Cristiano Ronaldo moved to El Nazir last January. In boxing, UFS, UFC president Dana White continues to promote the hell out of a hypothetical fight between Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk. His latest tease that a clash of the tech billionaires may actually go down is a new social media video where White shows off a UFC t-shirt with Zuckerberg versus Musk emblazoned on it. This isn't a gimmick fight, declared the king of gimmick fights. This is a fight between two of the most powerful and richest guys in the world. Who will win? Who has seen this before? Nobody. It's also a crossover fight that literally everyone will watch, he said with dollar signs in his eyes. <laughs> Kaching, you can already hear the cash register ringing. Imagine if White could put uh, Putin in the egg cage with these two. And finally, in uh, a prison, former Fiji Mbati and NRL star Jared Hayne has reportedly been conned out of Australian $780,000 in a Bitcoin scam by one of his jail inmates. Ishan Sina Sapidin allegedly told convicted rapist Hayne that he'd made millions of dollars investing with Australian billionaire Mike Cannonbrook. The con man convinced Hain and other inmates that he could deliver big returns if they invested with him, according to the Daily Te Telegraph. And they did. 
The former Sydney grammar student allegedly received more than Australian $2 million from Hain and at least six other inmates in Kuma jail between 2020 and 2022. I don't know, maybe one of them should have checked his rap sheet first. Sapadine is serving 12 years for stealing 4.6 million Australian dollars from his friends and family in a Ponzi scheme. Uh, needless to say, he has been transferred to an isolated cell for his own survival. For TavoVoSports.com, I'm Calden Kamir. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. If you want to receive more Pacifica sports highlights on Breakfast Bites, mahalo, vina'a, and thank you all too much for all your love and support.